Water is fun, water is refreshing, but water can also be quite dangerous. If you've seen our other videos, you'll know by now that we love water parks, and I'm always down for a swim in random pools around the world. Whether they're natural or man-made, it's always fun to go for a dip in the water. Especially if you're like me and you live in a hot place. <clears throat> Tucson, Arizona sucks. But sometimes bodies of water can be misleading, and what seems like a fun and adventurous journey to a swimming hole can turn into a tragedy if we go to the wrong spot. Today we're going to be looking at 10 places you should never swim. It doesn't matter how exhausted or overheated you are, you will want to stay away from these waters at all costs. Of course, some of you might be adventurous, and you might have some experience swimming at dangerous spots, but you're going to find that these places are absolutely a no-go regardless of how brave you are. When you make it to the top of the list, you'll see a place that you'll definitely have to stay away from. Unless you want to go for the last dip of your life, of course. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Ganges River, India. Millions of Hindus will be swimming in the Ganges this week for the annual Magh Mela Festival. The Industrial Age definitely brought a great advantage to humanity. But with all good things, we also get some bad ones. And in the case of India, you can see that in the Ganges River. What once was a beautiful and powerful stream of water coming down from the Himalayan mountains is now a polluted river, full of all sorts of garbages and other disposals that came as a result of the industrialization of the area. Surely, the river has played an important role in growing the economy of the country, but it has also become one of the most dangerous places to swim at. So if you're used to swimming in rivers, make sure you don't dive into this one. Just enjoy it from afar and explore other cool things that India has to offer. Number 9. Queensland, Australia. I wish I didn't have to put Queensland on this list. After all, this is the place where you can find some of the most impressive gifts from nature, such as the Great Barrier Reef. And on top of that, you also have the Whitsunday Islands and some of the most beautiful beaches you could ever see in your life. And while it is Australia's second largest territory, it is also one of the places with the most deadly creatures in the world. Saltwater crocs, stonefish, sharks, blue ring octopi, and box jellyfish. If you've watched our videos about dangerous animals, which there are many, you'll know that these are some of the creatures you want to avoid at all costs. And unfortunately, Queensland is the place where you can find all of them. It's like a big old mixture cocktail of madness. You'll even see some signs along the coast that warn you about possible encounters you might have with these animals. Number 8. Samasin Hole, Thailand. If you love exotic experiences out of your comfort zone with some of the kindest people in the world, you'll definitely want to check out Thailand. Great food, breathtaking landscapes, and a lot of cultural heritage. This country has a lot to offer for all kinds of travelers. Now, if you're not used to hot weather, you will find its heat a bit overwhelming, but there is nothing that a trip to the beach can't fix, especially when they have some of the best ones in the world. But whatever you decide to do in this amazing country, just make sure you stay away from the Samasin Hole. This spot is one of the deepest areas to dive in in all of the country. So deep that you won't be able to see anything once you get closer to the bottom. As a result, you're likely to get lost in an underwater dark world, especially if you're not an experienced swimmer. This confusion would make it harder for you to find your way up, and ultimately lead to the end of your life. Number 7. Gans Bay, South Africa. The windswept waves of South Africa's southern cape indicate that winter has arrived, and winter means shark season. Also known as Gans Bay or Gangs Bay, this fishing town is also the coast of South Africa. It is popular among tourists who want to spot some whales, but it's also known for its high density of white sharks in the waters nearby. While some tourists enjoy playing near the sharks, even going as far as getting inside cages and going underwater to see these deadly beasts, some people have decided to stay away and focus on other activities. And that is because Gans Bay has been the scenario of many shark attack-induced deaths. The place even got its own nickname. People call it the Shark Alley. While there are some other places in the world where white sharks gather, Gans Bay is the location where you are most likely to get attacked by one of the beasts. So keep that in mind if you ever make it to Gans Bay. Enjoy the whale and shark watching, but maybe don't swim in the waters. Number 6. The Gulf Coast, USA. The coastline along the southern part of the United States is one of the most important economic hubs in the country. Along this area, you can find big cities like Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Biloxi, Corpus Christi, Tampa, and the largest of them all, Houston, Texas. 
Having access to water, you might think that it's easy for the people living in this area to go for a swim anytime they want. But that's not necessarily true. I mean, I'm sure they have pools, lakes, and other cool places where they can go for a quick dip, but the Gulf Coast is definitely not one of those places. But first of all, the water in the Gulf is very hot, so it won't make any difference whether you stay inside or outside the water. It'll still just be hot. Also, these waters are home to some deadly animals, including snakes. And I don't know if you're aware of this, but snakes can actually swim. What's even more strange and scary about this is that some of the snakes found in the Gulf are rattlesnakes. And I know that a bite from a rattlesnake is rarely deadly, but if one of these animals can survive in the waters, I can only imagine what other creatures might be deep down there. Number 5. The Potomac River, USA. Believe it or not, one of the deadliest stretches of water is right here in our own backyard. The Potomac River Gorge and the Great Falls of the Potomac. Rivers are usually places that inspire peacefulness and calmness. They can be very relaxing and they're the perfect escape from the stress of everyday life, especially for people who live so close to them. And when waters are a bit more rough, rivers become the perfect place for some whitewater rafting or other adventurous things. But whatever you decide to do in rough waters, I just hope it's not swimming. The Potomac River is a great example of what could happen to you if you decide to do that. In this river, which is located between West Virginia and Maryland, you will find some rapids that can easily pull you down to the bottom of the river. The water pressure will make it difficult for you to breathe and eventually that will keep you from finding your way out. So perhaps this is not the place to swim without the proper gear. Maybe a picnic on the shore and dipping your feet will be enough for a cool outdoor activity. Number 4. Blue Lake, Russia. Blue waters are generally appealing and luring. The more blue a body of water is, the cleaner we think it is. But the Blue Lake in Kabaradino, Balkaria, Russia is a bit different than other blue lakes you've seen before. This one has grabbed the attention of scientists and people in general due to the blue color that comes from the high amounts of hydrogen sulfide in it. But what's more interesting about it all is that it doesn't matter how interesting this place is. People have still not been able to explore the bottom of the lake. For that reason, people have decided that it's best not to swim in it since no one knows for sure what kind of creatures might be living at the mysterious bottom of these waters. It's a strange mystery, that much is for sure. And while we let experts figure out what's happening at the bottom of this lake, it's better if we find another place to swim. Number 3. Lake Kivu, Rwanda. Lake Kivu in Rwanda is one of East Africa's Great Lakes. White Kivu is part of the African Great Lakes and is located between the borders of Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Due to its geographical position, it has been the scenario of some of the most important historical moments of the continent. This was especially true in the 19th century, when different groups were fighting for power. But another interesting fact about this lake is that it is considered one of the most dangerous in the world due to its explosive nature. In other words, this lake tends to erupt from time to time, and that is because its ground is unstable and influenced by the movements of a volcano in the area. Now, an erupting lake doesn't mean that it's going to blow you up into pieces if you're swimming in it. Instead, Lake Kivu releases plenty of carbon dioxide into the air. If you know about chemistry in humans, you will know that CO2 is a substance we should stay away from. It's kind of why we have carbon dioxide alarms. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I have for today shows a big and threatening wave and what appears to be one of the worst surfing experiences for the people in this picture. Let's check out one of the most dangerous places for surfing and swimming. Number 2. Puerto Escondido, Mexico. Puerto Escondido has what many people consider to be the heaviest beach break in the world. This sounds like a dream for all those adventurous surfers who want to put their ability to the limit. But beware, if you don't have the skills to endure this type of wave, you might find yourself carried away by some powerful undercurrent. In fact, just making it to the spot where the waves break is already an accomplishment. People who have been here say that paddling out to catch waves is already a thing you can celebrate, as it's not an easy task to make it that far into the ocean. And being able to catch more than one wave in a single day is also quite rare. All of those who manage to do it can say they survived one of the deadliest waves in the world. This spot has claimed the lives of many people, including kite surfers, professional surfers, and regular tourists. It surely looks like a beautiful and impressive place that I would like to visit, but I'm not sure I would like to go that far from the shore. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck.
Just try it. It really works. Number one. Naira Gongo, Democratic Republic of Congo. The place at the top of the list is not the one that you would necessarily visit because you need to cool off. Instead, this is a place you'd likely visit if you're feeling cold, just like when you look for hot springs in the cold mountains. However, do not mistake these hot waters for hot springs. The Naira Gongo is in fact home to one of the hottest swimming holes on Earth, but those holes are also considered part of the largest lava pit in the entire world. So, unless you want to boil yourself to death, you might not want to make use of these swimming holes. Not only is it dangerous for its lava, but the place also releases plenty of toxic substances that will make you suffocate as soon as you inhale them. In fact, you don't even need to get inside the lake to get these substances into your system. You could catch them just by hanging around the shore. It sounds like swimming is not always that fun after all, especially when we come across dangerous places like the ones I showed you on this list. Are they scary enough for you? Or are you feeling like you want to go check them out as soon as you get a chance? Let us know in the comment section down below. I'd love to see what you all think. With all that said and done, I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody. Alright, that's about I guess that's it for that video, guys. Most of these weren't that scary, to be honest with you. There's a few places that are really nice. And I'd love to serve. I don't, whatever, whatever it's called, to surf. With a big surfer thing just staying on in the water when the waves go up and the ocean stuff. That'd be funner. And, yeah. That'd be fun, man. And this, the last one was dangerous. I don't think all, all, obviously nobody's going to get in that anyway. So I don't know why they put that even on there. The, the dangerous swimming spot. Who's going to swim in that? Bulling hot water from a volcano. We all talk about man. All right, allors. I guess that's the end of this. So subscribe. Give me the twenty subs, and don't forget to keep a heel, Billy guys. Peace.